Good afternoon traders, my name is Tomasz Wisniewski, I'm a chief analyst in Alpari Research and Analysis and this is Trading Sniper where I will show you uh, the best trading occasions. Um, actually, this is daily analytical report, <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, also I will show you the best trading occasions, so uh, don't worry, we'll analyze the market. <coughs> we do have decent uh, trading setups here. Uh, today, even despite the fact that um, uh, the volatility is dropping, liquidity is dropping because everybody's focusing on Christmas right now. Mm, two days, uh, two, la uh, two last days, last two days, I'm sorry, last two days before Christmas. And uh, everybody's um, better closing positions than opening new ones. Uh, but I will show you some decent, decent occasions. Uh, which can be used by you in trading. So, uh, first calendar, obviously, Thursday. Uh, we had an interest rate decision uh, from Bank of Japan. <coughs> no surprise there. Uh, statement also didn't bring us any surprise. Uh, what we uh, still have ahead of us as GDP from US and um, core personal consumption expenditures that's what ahead of us and CPI from Canada <coughs> I'm sorry that that will be important even uh, we had a, a major switch in the tax bill well switch it's confirmed uh, tax bill in US uh, surprisingly, uh, well, surprisingly or not, uh, market reacted a bit different than many um, market participants anticipated, but I will show you that on the chart. Uh, the thing is, <laughs> that's a that's funny thing, when I was um, scanning uh, s uh, boards, service, um, forums, uh, different websites about investing it's all over the Bitcoin right so tax bill all right fair enough it's there um, it's the biggest like change in um, in hundreds of years in taxes in US but still the most important information is Bitcoin that's that shows us how big is the hype on cryptocurrencies because, come on, tax bill in the US, that's absolutely a huge thing. But not many people care about that. Now everybody's focusing about Bitcoin and about the fact that Bitcoin cash, so a cryptocurrency created after a hard fork of Bitcoin, first hard, hard fork of, Bit of Bitcoin, uh, will be now tra uh, traded on Coinbase uh, exchange. And that's actually the biggest hype right now, not the tax bill. Um, well, as usually before Christmas, well, calendar, yes, calendar looks good this um, uh, last week before Christmas, but that's just the calendar. Uh, that's uh, just the calendar, rest of that, well, Markets are quiet from the fundamental point of view, <coughs> so no, my, no major changes. Uh, and that being said, <coughs> let's go to the charts right now. Uh, first gold, gold which is making higher highs and higher lows since 12th of uh, December, almost every day, slowly climbing to an important resistance. Uh, to understand why this resistance is important, we have to uh, go to the daily chart because that's where, um, where it all started and maybe uh, zoom out. So what we do have here is an uptrend, is an upswing. Uh, then on 6th, 5th of December, the price broke. Lower line of the symmetric triangle, uptrend, long-term uptrend, marked here with a red color, and then also 38.2 Fibonacci level. 
price broke that and went significantly lower. Tested 50% Fibonacci, so Fibonacci are very like well respected here. Look, um, here was the top was established. 23, 38.2, 38.2, 23.6, 50, 38.2. So if you look for horizontal supports and resistances, 38.2, uh, 50, 23.6, so Fibonacci levels should be the place we should look at. Uh, <coughs> the price <coughs> went lower, tested 50 and went higher. That's a correction so far. That's only a correction uh, because it's shaped like a wedge. Wedge is a trend continuation pattern. Trend is negative. Here, according to the price action rules, a broken support has to become a resistance. Here is a broken support. It is now being tested as a resistance. The test looks good on a daily chart. Why? because we tested that yesterday we got a long head and we are testing that today and so far obviously well it's just the beginning of the day in europe <coughs> we are ending the asian session right now um, so far it looks like a shooting star shooting star is a reversal candlestick which uh, shows us a uh, rejection of the resistance <coughs> and that's the current signal on gold some of you may wait for a proper breakout of the horizontal support if we want to be like super precise here yes first attempt to break this I don't want to say stopped because, well, we do have a hammer candlestick, but this reversal is pretty mm, small, especially that we are 10 minutes into, uh, into next candle, <coughs> and after that candle, after this hammer, we're supposed to get an upswing, but we're not having that. Also, I, I would like to show you the accuracy how the price tested 38.2 here and here. Okay, the price broke the lower line of the wedge. Well, not broke, but once the price will break the lower line of the wedge, that should trigger a major, major sell signal on gold. Because um, this signal from here trigger, um, this breakout from here triggered the major sell signal. Bounce from here and the price going here will be a pure confirmation of this breakout and that will be absolutely beautiful uh, trading setup so that's the situation on gold let me show you the situation on euro to japanese yen where since the middle of september we do have a sideways trend closed below the resistance here above the support here last week uh, last month uh, we had a hammer, buy signal, then a false breakout, sell uh, buy signal again. And after that, the price went significantly higher here. And now we do have another uh, situation here, bullish situation, because yesterday, as you can see, candle from yesterday, closes above the horizontal support. And that price closing above the horizontal, uh, excuse me, horizontal resistance. Well after the breakout it support so yes technically technically speaking uh, price closed above the support uh, and that triggered a buy signal the thing is that false breakouts are very common happen from time to time as for example here so the next candle has to, after the bullish breakout has to make higher high and higher low this candle makes higher high and higher low actually after the breakout this one also made but in the other direction right um, so we do have a higher higher and higher low so far which adds a confirmation to this breakout uh, so 
after the breakout according to price action rules when the next candle after the bullish breakout after the next candle is making higher highs and higher lows the breakout looks probable the probability of a further upswing is high so that's what we are seeing here on Euro to Japanese yen right now next one is Australian dollar to American dollar uh, which is having a sideways movement for the past few days uh, this movement is happening <coughs> after a major upswing here that actually in the long term was a false breakout below a trend line the price went higher that's why we do have a, such a strong upswing here and it looks like the time for a correction came the time for a correction came uh, this correction is so far flat it's a pennant uh, as it is a correction it should result with a, mm, a trend continuation so what we should see here is a breakout of the upper line of the pennant but the thing is that you have to trade what it is and now price is trying to break the lower line of the pennant if the price will manage to break lower line of the pennant instead of buy signal we have a sell signal because this formation will be denied so far lower line of the pennant is being tested actually to be precise again here lower line of the pennant is being tested as long as we are inside the pennant we still do have a positive sentiment hourly candle maybe h4 candle closing below the lower lower line of the pennant should trigger a sell signal and candle closing above the upper line of the pennant should trigger a buy signal Australian do dollar to Canadian dollar uh, here is a major long-term buy signal uh, but the price was going um, up like a Bitcoin and now we do have a small correction uh, we had one correction we had another one maybe let's check the uh, if we can have a, like a deep correction here hmm, I cannot place a rectangle I don't know why let me check I cannot place rectangle okay uh, I, I wanted to check the correction uh, equality if we do have uh, if we do have here but the thing is that uh, there is still a positive sentiment here as long as we stay above those red lines there is a positive sentiment and uh, price getting lower here is actually a gift Christmas gift for the buyers or the potential buyers who missed the initial movement New Zealand dollar to American dollar here well those pairs are correlated Australian dollar to American dollar and New Zealand dollar to American dollar here we do have a pennant which promotes an upswing on New Zealand dollar to American dollar we do have flag which also promotes an upswing so here uh, upswing pennant the 23.6% um, Fibonacci was defended now the base scenario for this pair is a uh, breakout of the upper line of the flag and aiming the horizontal resistance here 60 pips but so far no trading signal we are waiting for the situation to develop once the price will break the upper line of the flag the buy signal will be created now dollar index and here it's an excellent short-term opportunity because as you can see the price uh, broke the horizontal support here this one 93.45 uh, broke that and now we are testing it as a resistance and that is actually an uh, invitation to go short to go against the American dollar according to the technical analysis broken support becomes a resistance uh, broken support becomes a resistance uh, that's what we are having 
here now that's what should uh, should happen that's what you are expecting to happen next one Australian dollar to Japanese yen yesterday we had a major buy signal here um, first of all false breakout below this horizontal support then the price went higher than the breakout of the midterm downtrend line so now the price should climb higher there is a buy signal on Australian dollar to Japanese yen cable cable steady no major developments in uh, Brexit negotiations uh, the volatility decreases we are still in a wedge those blue lines is a wedge you know that wedge is a trend continuation pattern so that's our aim and that's how the situation looks like uh, we have bigger chances of the price breaking the upper line of the wedge here that we do have a positive sentiment towards cable because you see this lower line this lower um, black line that's a long-term uptrend line this one as long as the price is above the uptrend line sentiment is positive and actually this wedge can continue to the uh, to the uptrend line here 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 and imagine for example a situation like that and this one i'm sorry you wanted to use this one here and here let's say and here and here the price is here that would be absolutely beautiful if we if we got that <coughs> because here we would have a bounce from a horizontal support but actually we can make it lower like that and uptrend line and a breakout of the upper line of the wedge we will see anyway price closing above the upper blue line triggers a buy signal next one american dollar to singaporean dollar uh, very technical again look at that especially here i cannot use this rectangle i don't know why but anyway horizontal support broken support becomes a resistance price goes down test that again that's a beautiful shooting star on hourly chart once hourly candle will close like that uh, that will be a major sell signal on american dollar to singaporean dollar let's go further with our trading setups here that was expected by us we uh, told you about that many times or even here false breakout below a horizontal support here 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 false breakout false breakout usually lead to the movement in the opposite direction price goes up then creates an invest in a shoulder formation after the breakout of the horizontal resistance here um, we do have an upswing now price is testing the midterm downtrend line so probably we can have like a reversal here that's what we are seeing but eventually i think we can have a movement something like that we'll see if it's uh, gonna happen well you know sometimes mm, lower liquidity helps to increase the volatility uh, so we will see if that will be the case here on euro to uh, british pound american dollar to canadian dollar false breakout here as well upswing test of the horizontal resistance instead of the, uh, a breakout like for example on uh, euro to british pound uh, to yen we do have a bounce from the resistance here canadian dollar to swiss franc that's still a flag this support is still defended 
A breakout of the upper line or uh, upper uh, blue uh, line should trigger us a buy signal. S&P 500 is having a flag, flag and an uptrend. As long as we are above the green line, the sentiment is positive and we do have a buy signal on S&P 500. Well, that shouldn't be a surprise for you. That's what's happening all the time. Here, constant buy signal. Euro to Swiss franc. After a false breakout here, the price is just advancing higher and that's a main signal here. There is a major buy signal. Uh, oh, here I can make a rectangle, okay. There is this horizontal resistance, which as you can see was tested here, but eventually the price should perform a breakout here. Oil. Sideways trend, quite boring, not much is happening. Yesterday data did not bring any like, stronger movements. As you can see uh, here. Sideways trend, breakout of the upper line here should trigger a buy signal, breakout of the lower line should trigger a sell signal. FTSE, FTSE is having this ascending triangle pattern. We should see the contact here soon with the upper line of the ascending triangle. We have to wait for that, but the sentiment is positive. American dollar to uh, Swiss franc. No trading signal. DAX and DAX. Apparently, as for now, this is a false breakout. I was thinking that the very well, Monday started excellent, right? We uh, had a bullish gap and a breakout above 13,180 uh, points. Uh, yesterday we had a test of the support. Price even draw beautiful H4 candle like a beautiful um, uh, hammer, uh, but they failed to hold the gray area as a support. They failed to hold this area as a support. The price went lower. That's a false breakout. And actually now the closest scenario is the price testing 12,900 points. So this orange support here. Let me change the colors. That's a false breakout. So the sentiment is actually now negative on DAX. Euro dollar, that's beautiful. That was a major buy signal. Again, let me uh, show you that again, what was happening here. Euro dollar is the most popular instrument, so probably you would like to see that again. Upswing, that was actually a head and shoulder pattern, right? That was a false breakout. Instead of head and shoulder, we got a flag. So uh, that pattern was denied. So here the, the major buy signal was triggered. One flag breakout. Second flag, smaller one. It will be better visible on H4. <coughs> flag breakout, buy signal. Flag breakout, buy signal. Also here, apart from flag, those red lines, we had investment in the shoulder formation, left shoulder, head and right shoulder. Head was also bouncing uh, from the horizontal support, very important one. And breakout of the horizontal resistance, upper line of the flag, and the neckline triggered a major, uh, major buy signal. Now, after that, we had a small correction here, like that, small flag. Now we're having a breakout of this flag, and the potential target here is this line. We should see the price getting here soon and the most famous instrument right now maybe not on the currency market but in the, in the world in the world we do have a bitcoin and bitcoin is having this support here 
that was quite a deep correction. Uh, price still did not recover uh, from this. Uh, break out of the red line and come back above here. Should trigger a buy signal. Break out of the green line opens as a way to the psychological barrier on, on $14,000 uh, 14, for one Bitcoin. So uh, that's the situation on this major crypto uh, currency and that's the situation on the market uh, right now. Let me see where is uh, gold. So gold is uh, trying to uh, defend this lower line of the uh, wedge. But again, as long as we are below 38.2, the sentiment is negative. <coughs> Thank you very much for attending um, daily analytical report. For more trading occasions, visit our Twitter account and our website, alpari.news. And in half an hour, we're going to have a webinar about trading psychology. So for me, uh, for professional traders, the most important uh, aspect of trading. Thanks very much and see you in half an hour.